Welcome, I'm Rose Oatley, and with Super Bowl weekend, I'm going to show you how to make a super delicious spinach artichoke dip that you can enjoy with friends and family. About two hours prior, you want to set an 8-ounce block of Philadelphia cream cheese on your counter to start softening. Your cream cheese will need to be softened. You'll also need some frozen spinach, and here I've got a 16-ounce bag of frozen chopped spinach. Now you want to leave this out to thaw as well. If you forget to thaw your spinach, you can put it in a microwave-safe bowl. Let's cover it up in microwave for 3 minutes. The spinach will normally have a bit of water in it, so I went ahead and put it in a strainer, took it to my sink, and just kind of squeezed it with my hands just to make sure that we remove as much water as possible. I also like to pat it down with a paper towel just to remove any excess water. Separate it a little bit with your hands and place it in a bowl temporarily. So you can see I like to prep and have everything ready in advance. Alright, so now we're going to need a small piece of onion. I would say probably about a quarter of an onion. And you just want to cut and dice this up. One of our main ingredients, artichoke hearts. Now I like to buy these in a can, and this is an eight and a half ounce can. These come quartered, but if you find them whole, that's perfectly fine, because we're gonna drain these and then chop them all up. I'm gonna be using two cans, and I'm gonna chop these up into small bite-sized pieces. I've got an eight ounce block of mozzarella cheese and we're gonna be shredding this. Now make sure that you don't buy the one that's already shredded in a bag because that one comes with a waxy film and it's not gonna melt as nicely. I'm going to shred and use the whole block of cheese. All right, so now over here, I've got Parmesan cheese. This is a five ounce block of cheese and I'm gonna go ahead and shred the whole thing as well. Moving on to my stove, I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 350 degrees. To a hot pan, add 3 tablespoons of butter. Once your butter is nice and melted, we want to add our onions. We want to get these nicely sautéed. I've got my heat set at about 3 or 4. Let's do 4. I've been sautéing these for a couple of minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn my temp down to a number 2. You want to add one tablespoon of minced garlic. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour. This is all-purpose flour, just regular flour. This is just going to make our sauce slightly thicker. We're going to create a roux. I'm going to add one and a half cups of half and half. Now we can add more later if needed. Half and half is basically half uh, milk and half cream. If you don't have half and half, you can go ahead and use milk, but I honestly prefer the half and half. For our spices, we're going to add salt and pepper. I've got some kosher salt here, but you can add regular salt. And I'm going to start with one tablespoon of salt. All right, now we're going to pepper to taste. Let's give it a quick mix. Right now my temp is at a number two, and I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for just a few minutes. And it's been about three minutes. I went ahead and up my temp to a number four just to kind of get it a little bit uh, thicker. Now it's not going to be real thick. You're going to have it slightly runny. You don't want it that thick. All right, I think this is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, set it aside so we can get started on our other ingredients. For our next step, we're going to take our softened eight ounce block of Philadelphia cream cheese and add it to a mixing bowl. I like to use my mixer to make my uh, cream cheese a little smoother, but you really don't have to. You can just uh, put it in a bowl and mix it with a spoon. You want to start at a low speed and then gradually increase. You'll probably notice some of the cream cheese sticking to your whisk, which is fine because we're going to come back and we're going to add the sauce, all the sauce in the bowl. Once we come back and start mixing again, it'll all start falling off the whisk. Now, just make sure that you start at a low speed and don't go past your second dial. Otherwise, it's going to splatter all over you. Make sure that you don't over mix. I'm just doing it to get the cream cheese off my whisk. 
Okay, so I went ahead and transferred it to a different bow just so that y'all can see everything in here. So now we're gonna come back and add all of our spinach in here. And we just wanna give this a quick mix. Next, we'll add our artichokes. Add your Parmesan cheese. By the way, I also have a delicious queso dip on my channel, so be sure to click that little eye up top for my recipe later. Now we'll add all our Parmesan cheese. So I'm kind of curious, what team are y'all rooting for? Let me know in the comments section below. All right, this is when you can come back and add a little more half and half. I think I'm gonna probably do about one quarter cup. You could probably go one quarter to half a cup more, but I'm going with one quarter. We'll mix it again, making sure everything is nicely mixed. So before we put it in a baking dish, you wanna make sure that you add a little bit more salt and pepper, and this is to your taste, depending on how much or how little you want. And just give it one last quick mix. Now in a large baking dish, probably about a cake size dish, you wanna go ahead and spray the bottom. Now today I'm using two baking dishes, but only because I'm using a small one for a picture, but you only need one uh, dish. All right, so now we wanna just pour everything in there. Once in there, you just wanna spread it out all evenly. We wanna bake for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. See you in a bit. These are out of the oven and they're nicely brown around the edges and melted inside. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and share with your friends. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.